Tanjiro. Oh yeah, he has to cut something. Cut something of value. And it's gonna hurt like hell. It's not his body that he's cutting, really. It's something tying him to this fantasy. Pretty big metaphor there. It sucks, doesn't it? Ah. It's hard! What am I looking at? Is this, this is Tanjiro's heaven. These Tanjiro angels? They're so friendly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this is pretty a perfect depiction of Tanjiro's inner world. Although he's not very clean right now, sort of in a murky place. Repent, sinner. He'll be burned in the purifying fire of light. Whoops, that's the end of this dream world. Even his angels are saving people. Another episode of Melancholy Train Arc. That's a nice image to aspire to. To be so strong that your enemies just by looking at you get engulfed in the light. Episode 4, Insult. That's where kind of bird, right? Where are we right now? Is this Inosuke? <laughs> His inner core is Batman. <laughs> You've entered the labyrinth. His inside matches his outside. Something to be said for that. So this is Zenitsu. Groping around actually fits Zenitsu pretty well. Castration for you! <laughs> Why are their insides so... Oh my god, this is horrifying. Snip, snip! We gotta cut something of value off of you, too. <laughs> this, is... this ended up being amazing. So needs to spiritual core is just as loud. Oh, they're all struggling. Did it not work? Did it not take? Oh, he's still, he's still working on it. There you go, he's getting out! Tore himself out of that beautiful dream slash nightmare. Yeah, we're all doing the same thing right now. It's tough to wake them up, right? They sort of have to go through whatever it is they're going through. Yeah, pretty definitive that that was a dream. The Rengoku segment. Right, she did it, she severed them. It would be more satisfying, but sort of harder to believe if they all sort of went through their own separate journeys to get out of it. I'm not sure what the other solution would be. There's something so weird about this. Like, I'm so on edge, just even though they're just asleep. There's something existentially horrifying about this whole thing. Oh, there she is. He's controlling her with incentives. Tuberculosis is apparently not a good excuse for not doing your work duties. He had a lot more than he bargained for in Tanjiro's inner world. It's charitable of him to blame it on the demon. <laughs> Put down the ice pick. You were never ready. Oh, bold of you. Head trauma. Accidental death. I also know. Me too. And reality hits. It's the worst part of waking up. And that goes for both dreams and daydreams. I really felt this sequence. It's easy to get stuck in a lie, especially if that lie feels really sweet or like satiate a certain need. There's a pain in living that too, of course, you know, because at some level you're aware that it's a lie and your mind is sort of screaming at you that you're in danger. But in many ways, it's harder to do what Tanjiro did and sort of sever himself from the, the sweet dream because it means going back to whatever it was you were so afraid of in the first place that got you to cling to that lie. And it's going to be worse, you know? It's sounder to deal with things as they arise. If you're lucky enough to be aware that they exist, right? If you perpetuate them, you are building on top of it. You know, you build on top of something that is not healthy. And to go back to the foundation, to like erase the thing you built on top of it, means going back to a raw state, you know, because time has passed. You are destroying a lot of things you've come to identify with and lean on for emotional support on top of this lie. And it's all, it's all coming down. It all has to come down. And so yeah, like, I get it. The only way to get through it is to cut 
stretch your own neck, sort of, in other words, to kind of sacrifice this thing that you've become to go back to a base state, you know, to go back to a lower rung and build up stronger. It is a death, you know, it feels like death to me when I go through it. It's not fun. It's not easy. I feel like only someone like Tanjiro, you know, someone who's really strong and has sort of the right mindset and purity of heart can make that choice that quickly. A lot of times that choice is made for us by circumstance because lies, no matter how sweet they are, just have a way of unraveling themselves. <laughs> Just coming into contact with the subconscious transformed this guy's life. I'm surprised it didn't cure his tuberculosis with how sterile that place was. Your reality can be even sweeter if you allow yourself to sort of die that death, that small death. Make room in your heart for something better. Yeah, it sort of knocked us on our ass. Like, there's no training for, like, sleep spells. At least not yet. We're out here, like, dodging juice, blowing into gourds. Did that prepare us for this? Not really. There we go, contact. We know. The melancholy train just keeps rolling. He might have gotten stuck in that one better than the sweet one. Just don't punch any more tickets, Tanjiro. It's amazing how much this must have gotten to him. It like hit him on that subconscious level. Honestly, give me nightmares anytime. Give me any nightmare. Certain kinds of struggle or misfortune or like negative events that befall me almost seems desirable to like having that beauty ripped out of my hands like Tanjiro experienced. Great guy, number one. Lower one. Good person all around. Yeah, we got it. It's the tickets. Speaking of Pokemon and Dream Eater, it's one of the most annoying, most annoying status effects. You hate the enemy that uses sleep on you. Yeah, human desire for delusion. Safe, beautiful delusion. It's momentous. It's huge. Yeah, it was previously very clean. But this is not his only ability. S sleep is not, that's not it. He's gonna be super powerful in a variety of ways. He couldn't even beat uh, Louis or whatever his name was. I don't think this is it. I feel like if Tanjiro were a little faster, he could kill him before he finished that sentence. That was a long title. Did he just get knocked out again? My God. Oh, oh, oh. Dodge. Dodge one of them, Tanjiro. <laughs> I guess it's cool to just blast through it. The willpower. He's, he's separated from a certain element of it. That was pretty cool. He went through it. He went through it and had a realization. And the dream wouldn't happen in real time, so that explains why he's doing it so quickly. It does. It's the ability to sacrifice oneself. Yeah, meet Tanjiro. He's pretty cool. Oh, and he's slinging nightmares at him too. Oh no! <gasps> Ah, uh, it's evil. He doesn't need to push very hard, I guess. That guilt is already in there. Ah. Uh. Oh no, father's disappointment. Right, it could theoretically be a long dream, even if in the real world it's just a couple seconds. This is all inside of Tanjiro. This is all in there already. Ah. Uh. Uh. I hate it. Oh, thank God. That is a huge relief. <laughs> That's the insult. Woke up a dragon. Wow, he actually took off his head. Wait, did he actually get him? I feel like it's, it's too easy to kill the enemy of this arc that quickly. Tanjiro thinks that's it, but he's not disintegrating or exploding. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It was kind of easy. Let's just flip the whole script on demon killing. Demon slaying. Yes, we're all curious. Please monologue a little bit. 
All right, thanks for throwing that condescension in there. That was essential to the story. He became the train. I don't understand it, but that is impressive. Cut the train and kill the passengers? Well, you don't cut the train, you kill the passengers too. He's not alone. He's gonna wake up the others. Pretty interesting first meeting between the two of them. And even that's a lot. How do you stop the train? Oh, there we go. Nesco did it. There are doors, but that does not matter. <laughs> He's still in his dream. I said he gained a title through this experience. It's gonna have him back though. Hey, his title getting longer and longer with every passing attack. This is heating up. God, this. How did this show become like this? It got really heavy all of a sudden. Like, really heavy. It's doing all sorts of things to me. It went from being like a very external show, you know, very power based, fighting based, skill based, to being this gripping and terrifying psychic battle. It's a little overwhelming. I, I'm sort of relieved they just gave back. I would like Zenitsu to come back and make some noise. You know, it's like how you gotta watch a comedy after watching a horror movie. If anyone else does that, I'm like, I'm off kilter. I'm on my back foot. Give me something lighthearted. Yes, I also am glad Inosuke is here. Ah, I see. I heard about this. I've heard about this before. Taisho secret spoiler. Yeah, right? That's what I was saying. He just has some... Levity is not the right word, but he had something I really needed. Move forward, Manjiro. I feel like I need to take a shower after this episode. <laughs> it's... It's a lot. Let's take in. That sequence, the guilt sequence, was sort of unreal, sort of horrifying to me. And man, do I get the temptation. Do I get the wanting to stay in a beautiful lie? I think having the ability to cut it like that, a real life extension of that perhaps being like forcing yourself to look at reality and not give in to temptation is hard. <laughs> it's really hard. <laughs> Something big to aspire to, not getting trapped by beautiful things that aren't real. And it takes a lot of faith, you know? In order to be able to move on, I think you have to have faith in a future you can't even see, where things are okay, or maybe even better than okay, where you have things that you need and where they're real. It's just really tough, really tough to imagine that before you have it. It's all just a, a faith act. Whereas the thing you are dreaming about is something you really experienced or really had or felt at one point And so it's so hard to give more weight to the beautiful potential of the future than it is to the the sweet thing You had in your hand and, and lost or the image you're clinging to of yourself and who you wish you were The lie that keeps you going or protects you from a truth that you actually really need if you would only accept it 